I'm Scotty Smith here with American Time to show you how to replace your synchronized clock motor while achieving an accurate time. For the purpose of the video, we have taken apart this clock partially. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip over the clock and the first thing step you have to do is remove the clock hands. Clock hands are removed by the nuts on the front of them. Once you remove the nuts, you may spin off the hands. The minute hand use is a little bit bigger nut driver. There's also a friction plate underneath. The hour hand is just press fitted and you can spin it and turn it off until it pops off. Since you have the shaft sticking out, I recommend using either the dust cover or the, or the crystal and putting that down to protect that shaft. At this point, I've already done, done the wire nuts. We'll just loosen up the screws and remove the mechanism. Take the new one, put it in the same spot. For the, again, for the purpose of the video, I'm only going to put in two screws here just to hold the movement tight. The wires are color coded, however, they are the same color wires that were on your previous motor. So those can be wired up in the same fashion that you disassembled it. Flip the clock over, and the most important piece of this is the setting of your hands on the clock. The clock is actually goes at 559. 559 is one minute to six o'clock. Tighten it down snug, don't over tighten it or your gears will be moving. The last one is the second hand. The second hand you want to put down just far enough to expose the threads on the shaft to allow you to put this last nut on. You don't want to spin the second hand all the way down to bottom out. You just want it enough to get the second, to get the nut on it. 559 is at that point. Click the button to download the Wired Movement Manual. 